Hi, room 41. We are done with our geometry unit in math, and we have this unit yet in math to finish for this school year. So we're looking at unit 5, and it's going to be about measurement. Now, there's different things we measure. We're, we're going to spend some time in this unit, this chapter, measuring length, measuring time, measuring area, and measuring perimeter. So that's our goal for this unit, is to cover those types of measurements. So today we're going to use our background knowledge and knowledge of words to understand how to convert metric units of measure, of especially in this. Hi, room 41. We are finished with our geometry unit, and we are moving on now to unit 5. Actually, we're moving backwards in the book, but that's okay. We're going to do measurement. So for this unit, we will be measuring length, we'll be measuring time, we'll be measuring area and perimeter. There's two types of measurements we're going to use. We're going to use the metric system and the standard system for measurement. So we will teach you both of those while we learn how to measure. So our learning goals for today is we're going to use our background knowledge and knowledge of words to understand how to convert metric units of length. So we're starting to measure length, and we're going to start using the metric system first. Two questions to think about. How important is the language of math for this lesson? Oh my goodness, it's, I'll tell you right now, it's so important. What are the important things to remember about today's lesson? Well, we need to really get this lesson so that we understand the next few lessons. So, I had this chart at school, and thank goodness I'd taken a picture of it last year for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I have it. So, um, the tools that we use typically for measuring length is we start with a ruler, which you've all had access to all year long, and we know that that is 12 inches or 1 foot. Then we move on to a yardstick. That measures units of yards, 1 yard, feet, and inches for you football players. That comes in really handy when it's first and 10. That means you have 10 yards to go to get a first down. Then we look at a meter stick, slightly bigger than a yardstick. It measures units in meters. So one meter, you can see, is slightly bigger than one yard. It also measures in centimeters, decimeters, and millimeters. And that's why all those words come into play right now, and they're so important. You can also use a measuring tape, especially if you are building and you need to measure the length of a board or something like that. People use measuring tapes for sewing. People don't use them for all sorts of things. So measuring tapes are another tool that we use to measure length. All right, what do you know about the word meter? Meter is the word that we need to understand to start this whole unit of lessons because the meter is, is what the metric system is based on, a meter, a meter stick that you see the picture of there. What do you know about the word meter? I have some words hidden here that I'll share with you. Meter. Here's what I know about meter. I know there are parking meters that we have to put coins into or our credit card into. I know there's a meter in music where you measure a meter of music every bar. I know there's a water meter that the company will come and read to see how much water I've been using each month. There's an electric meter, there's a gas meter that they measure how much electricity we use, how much water we use, how much gas we use in our homes. I know there's a meter in poetry where it separates sections and meters. There's a measure to the, the meter is almost like the rhythm of the poem. So meter is a really important word, and it basically means to measure. That's what the word meter means. It's Greek, and it means to measure. So a parking meter measures how long you've been parked. A meter of music tells you how many beats you're using in that meter. A water meter tells you measures how much water your family used. A meter in poetry measures the rhythm and the rhyme to the music, to the poetry. So meter is an important word that we use in several different areas. You know, life in general, music, math, science, writing, reading. Um, meter is measure. 
So a meter, what does it really look like? So I have a ruler here that I use at home here for a lot of my crafts. And I want you to understand what this looks like. Now mine's made of metal. But most of our rulers at school have two different types of measurements. And this is where students, fourth grade students, usually get confused. There's this measurement here, and then there's this measurement down here where the numbers are written upside down. I can turn it around this way so that you can see the metric side of the measure. It says right there, metric. Okay, so we're using the metric measure today. We're going to be using these numbers. But again, on this side, it's the standard measure. It's what we use for inches, feet, and yards, and miles. Okay, this is the standard measure, and we'll get to that in a couple of lessons. Today we're going to focus on the metric side of a ruler. So anytime you're using a ruler, pay attention and notice which side is the metric side and which side is the standard side that Americans like to use. Boys and girls, the world uses the metric system. America uses the standard system. Okay, we haven't quite yet converted to this. We're, we're making great gains when we get a, a one liter bottle of soda or something like that for measurement, but we still use this. We use pounds and ounces, and then we use cups and, and pints, and then we use inches and feet and yards, but the world uses this. They use the metric system for measurement, for liquid, for capacity, for volume. Everybody else in the world uses the metric system, so we need to learn how to use this a little bit more appropriately, and actually it's quite easy compared to our standard system of measurement. So that's what a, this is just basically a 12, well actually this one goes longer, you can see it goes up to 15 inches on the standard measure, and then for the metric system it goes up to a little bit beyond 38 centimeters, and that's what we're going to be learning about. Then if you look at an actual big stick that we use, okay I can't show you all of this, but I'll show you how long it is, it starts there, and I'm going to keep sliding it through the screen here, and it goes all the way up. Okay, and this one is not a meter stick. This is actually a yard stick, so it's not even going to go to 100, but it should go to 100 to be a meter stick. It would be 100. It wouldn't say 91. It would say 100. So this stick right here, pretty long. I'm sliding it through the, the uh, document camera now is too too long for you to see, but I want you to get an idea. You've seen them in, in the classroom. We have them sitting in the corner up front. We use them for things, and you were definitely going to be using them for science. So that is a yardstick, but there are meter sticks that are slightly bigger than a yardstick. Now, what we're looking at today is what all those little dashes mean, and what is a meter. Okay, a meter is slightly larger than a yardstick, and we're going to break that meter down now into smaller pieces. So let's take a look. Here's what we're going to do next. We're going to use M for meter. Anytime you want to tell me something is one meter long, you're going to use an M. A decimeter, that's a meter stick divided into ten pieces. So it would be one decimeter, two decimeters, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten decimeters are in one meter. So if you take that meter stick and you divide it into ten pieces, each one of those is a decimeter. And you look at deca and you think it's a prefix, because meter means measure, and the prefix on the front of it means ten. Like a decade is ten years old, dec is ten. And then we look at centimeters. Think of that meter stick and divide it into 100 pieces. Okay, so think of that and divide it into 100 pieces, and each one of those is a centimeter. And again, meter means measure, cent, century, or a cent, as in a penny. It takes 100 pennies to make $1. It takes 100 centimeters to make a meter. And then the tiniest measure that we'll use is a millimeter. That's taking that meter stick and dividing it into a thousand pieces. Now let's go back and let me show you exactly how small that would be. 
So take a look at our metric measure here. Okay, now we're going to start this big line that represents 0. And from 0 to this number 1, let me use my pencil, it might be easier. From 0 to this number 1, oops, is 1 centimeter. That's how big 1 centimeter is. I was trying to find something that's 1 centimeter. It's a pencil's a little smaller than a centimeter. I found my highlighter fits pretty well there. The width of my highlighter to measure one centimeter from the number one to the number two, my highlighter kind of fits right in there. So the width of my highlighter is about one centimeter. Okay, so let's think about this. We know that a meter is the measure that we're using. We know every 10 we're going to divide a meter into 10 sections. That's how long a decimeter is from here, from my finger to my pencil. That's one decimeter. And then two decimeters would be to the number 20. There's two decimeters. So one decimeter, two decimeters, three decimeters. And this one doesn't go any higher than that because it's just a ruler. Okay, so on a meter stick, you will find 10 sections that are that wide. And those are considered, that one section there is considered one decimeter. So there are 10 of those. Then there are 100 centimeters. There's from 1 to 100 centimeters on a meter stick. There's one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. But if we hit that 10, remember, that's a decimeter. Okay, but it's also 10 centimeters. So 1 decimeter. And then within that 1 decimeter, there are 10 centimeters because we took that 1 decimeter and we divided it by 10 pieces to get centimeters. And then, let me zoom in to see if you can see how very, very tiny a millimeter is. A millimeter, my pencil lead is going to be wider than a millimeter. If you look at the number six there, and that tiny little section, that dash just before it, that measure right there is one millimeter. That's tiny. That might be a little bigger than the width of a hair. Okay, so that's a very small measure. There are a thousand millimeters on a meter, a thousand of those because they are so very tiny. So that's our measurements that we're using in the metric system. So let's take a look at it on a chart and see if that helps any. So meter is the measure we use. Meter is the standard for the metric system. Let's think of pieces that are smaller than a meter, which is what we're learning today. If we take a meter, okay, and divide into 10 sections, we get decimeter. And so we use dm, 10 decimeters equals that one meter. So 10 sections of a meter are decimeters. Then we jump over to centimeter, cm, okay? There are 100 centimeters in one meter, 100. 10, 100, and then our last measure meter is a millimeter, and that means thousand and there are a thousand millimeters in one meter. So a meter is based on 10. Okay, think of it this way. 10 decimeters in one meter. A hundred centimeters in one meter. A thousand millimeters in one meter. 10 decimeters, a hundred centimeters, a thousand millimeters. So, since our meter stick is too big, to put into your student activity book at school, they gave you a picture of what it would look like if they could reduce it down to equal into one um, meter stick inside of your book. Okay, now uh, what I want you to do today is we're going to stop right here. I want you to get on compass and I want you to do one lesson called uh, metric units of length. Very simple lesson just to practice reading centimeters because that's the typical measure that we use based on a meter. Remember in that picture of a meter, there are a hundred centimeters. So get on compass and do the lesson called metric units